In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install this M2 NVMe SSD into your Dell Inspiron 3671. This is Western Digital SN550. It's a one terabyte drive, and it should be much faster than the current SSD that I have in my Dell Inspiron. Let's open the Dell. As you see, my Dell is pretty heavily customized. I already installed the King Digan one terabyte as a main drive, and I have the one terabyte that came with the Dell Inspiron. This is a mechanical drive. I use it for storage only. And I also installed the Nasus GeForce GTX 1650 Super. If you wanna check out the videos on how I installed this graphics card and this disc here, you can check the links in the description. But for now, we're gonna install the NVMe drive. The NVMe slot in the Dell is here, so it's a tight spot. I'm gonna have to remove the VGA card in order to install the drive. So this is a drive. It goes like this and it should be secured with a screw. Fortunately, the Dell comes with a screw, so I'm gonna have to remove the screw first. If you can see it, it is here. So let me remove the screw. And this is a screw removed. So now I'll be installing the drive. It has a key here, as you see. You cannot install it wrong. It should go like that you see it is installed now and I should secure it now with the screw now it is installed and it is secure with the screw as you see I'm gonna reinstall the VGA card now I'm gonna switch now to screen recording and show you how I will copy this King Dion to the Western Digital NVMe. I started the computer after the installation. Now I'm gonna check if Windows recognized the drive. We need to go to Disk Manager, so just key in the search box Disk Manager and select this option, Create and Format Hard Disks. And as you see, it recognizes the drive directly. It's asking me to initialize it. I'm just gonna initialize it, even though I'm gonna overwrite it afterwards with Macrium. So I'm gonna close this one now, and I'm gonna download Macrium Reflect Free. Open your web browser and go to this site, macrium.com slash reflect free. Hit enter and click on Home Use. And just click on Continue here. Macrium Reflect Free should download. Click on close here and wait for the program to download. Once it is downloaded, you need to open it so to install it. You're gonna close the browser and the version is free. I'm just gonna click on download now. Keep everything checked so this way Macrium Reflect will start after the installation finishes. So the installer will start after the download. If prompted, click on yes, and click on next. Click on next again. Choose I accept the terms, click on next. And then here, make sure you choose home, click on next. On the screen, you have the option to register the program if you want. I chose not to do it, so I selected register this program, and I click on next, and I'm gonna click on install desktop shortcut, and then click on install. Once it is installed, keep launch now checked, and click on finish, it will launch Macrium Reflect. Once Macrium Reflect opens, you will see both your disks, or if you have other disks also, you will see them. Here you should be very careful because this operation will completely wipe the target disk. 
So make sure you are under the right disk. Here I have a King Dion disk, so I can identify it with its name here. Under the disk directly, click on Clone this disk. And under Clone this disk, click under Select a disk to clone to. And you have only the NVMe disk. And it is identified once again by its name here, as you see, Western Digital. So please make sure you are selecting the right disk because everything on this disk now, it will be white. I'm going to select it. And I'm simply going to click Copy Selected Partitions, which is everything. And then I'm going to click on Next. Here on this screen, it will give you the opportunity to put a schedule to clone this disk once again. I'm going to skip this one, so I'm not going to put any schedule. Click on Next, and simply click on Finish. When you click on Finish, it will ask you the following question. I'm going to deselect the Save Backup, because I'm just going to run it once to clone the disk, and I'm going to click on OK. And the operation should start. It shouldn't take long, because both disks that I have are SSD disks, and they are both very fast. While waiting for it to finish, if you want to check also some videos I've done on the King Dian, you can check in the description. I'm going to cut this video now and come back when the clone finishes. As you see, the clone finished very quickly, only in 49 minutes. Usually when you clone an HDD to an SSD, it takes about 3 to 4 hours. Of course, it depends on the size and on the volume of the data on the drive. So when the clone finishes, just click on OK and click on Close. And you see the disks are cloned exactly the same. And now I'm going to remove the SSD, the King Dion SSD, and reboot from the NVMe. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.